Alex Oliveira and Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're fighting this guy, DC. You know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again today. He does it every time he's got put in the octagon. When they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Khabib. Even our teammates say, it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with bears <laughs> he is so strong he's so physical in the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon one of the most skilled guys the ufc has ever seen we always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo right. but don't sleep on habib Nurmagomedov strike and we saw shades of that in the mcgregor fight javier mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training he can't hold you down I can't move me now, but Just it's okay, it sure. it's okay. You can't win them all, Javi. Uh -huh. Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, he'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We'll see how it goes for him tonight, Bates. Now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Nurmagomedov is one year his senior. Oliveira will have a four-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the challenger, Habib the Eagle. Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 8 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Charles the Box Oliveira! All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. Tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. 
Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Marco Medov's pass is denied. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Getting the ground and pound going pretty good here early. Lands with the ground and pound. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Ramago Medov's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Close guard. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, close guard now. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Oliveira. Close guard. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Showing off that leg dexterity and flexibility. Rubber guard now. I mean, it's unbelievable to watch these guys who are able to bring the legs all the way up around the shoulders and just control you. Because to me personally, and I'm no jujitsu expert, to me personally, it feels like this is a position to really just slow everything down. Are there submissions? Yes. But the ideal thing in this position is to slow you down from damaging and really just make you feel more in danger than you really are. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Nermago A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Trying to pass the guard here. Nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Tell us trader for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, round two now, folks. Charles Oliveira and Khabib Nurmagomedov. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back in range. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Magomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when they double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he got his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Now he's able to isolate that left arm. Look for him, and now he falls back into the finishing position. So he submits him with the arm bar. I mean, just steps ahead of the competition where you're playing checkers, he's playing chess in the ground fighting. And it showed tonight in this big submission victory. He's done, he's done. 
Yeah, really impressive work out of him here tonight. He had to work for it, no doubt about it, but a nice job to isolate and ultimately secure the arm and then get the tap from the arm. Ball. So pretty submission finish turned in by that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, the UFC lightweight champion, and I'm not sure any 155-pounder could have held up under the onslaught here tonight. He wins the belt by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines will stop in this contest at 2 minutes, 20 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an armbar 